dear student welcome to online learning today we will be learning science chapter 1 nutrition in plants children we know that all living organism need to perform certain basic life process every organism require a daily supply of energy the food we eat provide us energy like us plants also need nutrients to survive so our today's topic is photosynthesis first of all we will understand modes of nutrition in plants there are two modes of nutrition in plant autotrophic and heterotrophic all the green plants and some bacteria prepare their own food by autotrophic mode of nutrition thus they are autotrophs means self nutrition the word auto means self and tropos means nutrition autotrophic means self nutrition now we will see that how they prepare their food so to understand this we will study about a process called photosynthesis the term photosynthesis was given by charles bins in 1893 photo means light and synthesis means to build thus photosynthesis means building up by light The leaves of a plant are green because they contain tiny green colored bodies called chloroplast which contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll uses the solar energy to prepare food from carbon dioxide and water. The process by which green plants make their own food from carbon dioxide and water by using solar energy in the process of in the presence of chlorophyll is called photosynthesis the food prepared by the green leaves of a plant is in the form of a simple sugar called glucose this glucose synthesized in the leaves is then transported to the different parts of the plant the extra glucose is changed into a complex carbohydrate called starch this starch is stored in the leaves and other parts of the plant the process of photosynthesis can be represented in the form of following equation carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll produce glucose and oxygen glucose is a simple sugar and oxygen produced in this process is inhaled by living organism the material required by plants for photosynthesis are water mineral carbon dioxide and chlorophyll water and minerals are transported to the leaves and other parts of the plant by xylem vessel carbon dioxide in the green plants take carbon dioxide gas from the air for carrying out photosynthesis tiny pores called stomata are present on the underside of the leaves these pores are surrounded by guard cell the guard cells control the opening and closing of stomata The carbon dioxide gas enters the leaves of the plant through the stomata. Chlorophyll is a green pigment present in the cell organelle called chloroplast. The green color of the plant is due to the presence of chlorophyll in them. Chlorophyll is present mostly in the green leaves of the plant. Chlorophyll traps the solar energy. The energy is used to synthesize food from carbon dioxide and water during the process of photosynthesis. Green plants synthesize food in the presence of sunlight. Chlorophyll present in the green leaves trap the solar energy. The solar energy is converted into chemical energy by the process of photosynthesis. Now children let us see the importance of photosynthesis. Can you imagine the earth in the absence of photosynthesis? No. But why? So let us see. 
photosynthesis enable the green plants to make their own food in the absence of photosynthesis there would not be any plant the survival of all animals in the world directly or indirectly depend upon the food made by the plants oxygen which is essential for the survival of all living organism is produced during the photosynthesis carbon dioxide is used by plants during photosynthesis so we can say that this maintains the balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so in the absence of this process life on the earth would not be possible this process is a unique process so children in our next class we will learn a new topic